So I'm going to show you how to access your Silly Tavern instance outside of your local network. So if you're on your cell phone or on a laptop outside of your home network, you can access your Silly Tavern instance on the go. Um, so we're going to use a service called Zero Tier, which is going to allow you to access your devices remotely. So you're going to go to myzerotier.com and sign up. I've already done that, so I'm going to skip that step. Um, but this will allow you to access it securely, unlike exposing a port. So once we've done sign up, you're going to have an option for creating a network. I already have one. You're going to hit create a network. I just accessed mine. You're going to give it a name. I called it Silly Tavern before because I've done this multiple times. You're going to want to keep the access control set to private. Otherwise, other people may be able to access your instance. And if they have access, they could get to your chats, your characters, etc. Um, next thing you want to do is go to the IPv4 auto assign range and change it to something like 10.144. By default, it will be like a 192.168, which can conflict with your router's local IP assignment. So you're going to want to change it to one of the 10.144, 10.244 range. Leave everything else the same and scroll down. Here you're going to add your devices. I already have my devices added. You're not going to see devices yet. What you're going to do is scroll up to the top. There is a download option. You're going to hit download and you're going to pick the appropriate client for your operating system. For me it was Windows and once you download that you're going to run it, hit install and it's going to appear in your taskbar and you're going to enter in your network ID that was at the top of the page and then you'll see your PC now added to your device list. You're going to want to give it a name and you're going to want to make sure the checkbox under the authorized column is checked or this will not work. Make note of that IP address and you're going to use that to access your silly tavern instance from mobile once we get that set up. So now you're going to want to go to the App Store on your iPhone or Android and download the Zero Tier 1 client and get that downloaded and opened. So it'll take one second to download, you're going to hit open, and you're going to have a blank screen. I already have mine added, but you're going to hit the plus in the top right, accept the terms and conditions, and then you're going to have an option to add the network ID that was at the top of your zero tier control panel. And once you've entered that, the add network text is going to turn blue, and you're going to hit add network. I'm not going to do it because I already have it added. Then it'll take you back to the home page. You're going to toggle it off and on, and then it's going to appear in your web interface for zero tier. You might need to refresh the page a couple times, but it'll appear. You're going to hit, uh, you're going to scroll down, make sure the authorized checkbox is added, and it make sure it's blue and checked, or it will not work. And now we're going to go back to our device. So now you're going to bring up a web browser, and you are going to enter the IP address from that PC interface, and you are going to use the port 8000 if you are still using the default port for Silly Tavern. And once you've typed that in, you're going to hit enter. And as you can see, I'm on cellular, so it should be loading now. And now I'm bringing up a bot. I'm just using the default Aqua bot. And I'm going to have to connect to my API because I'm not connected, which I'm going to go back at the top and connect to my open AI, which I'm going to block out this key so you can't see it. And now I'm connected, going back to the chat, sending it and waiting for the response from ChatGPT. And she responds. And as you can see, we are working for, on Silly Tavern, on mobile, on a cellular network. Please let me know if you have any questions. It should be a pretty straightforward process, but there can be some hangups if you uninstall and reinstall multiple times.